Hello! Today we're going to be making the classic standby, a good old-fashioned American dish, meatloaf. To make meatloaf, we're going to need a pound and a half of hamburger. I've got two one-pound packages of 80% lean here. And we'll just cut one of those in half. And this is a great dish because everything just goes right into the mixer. We'll also need barbecue sauce or ketchup, Worcestershire sauce, which I ran out of, so I'm substituting with A1 steak sauce. We'll need some salt, black pepper, fresh garlic, yellow mustard, and sage. And what meatloaf would be complete without a little bit of celery and onion? We'll also need one egg which you can put right into the bowl. And we'll need three slices of bread. It's a good way to use up the heels if you have any. And a cup of milk. First thing I'm going to do is, uh, there's a couple different ways you can do the bread. Um, I just like to use the old chef's knife here, or you could also just take it on a, a grater and do it this way. Either way, however you want to get the bread, make sure it's small, very fine. I prefer to use a knife, it makes less of a mess. And this can also all go right into the mixer. Bread. Throw in the bread. Throw in the bread. I'm going to take our fresh garlic, three cloves. Squeeze that right into the bowl as well. About a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. About a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. About a half teaspoon of salt. a teaspoon of ground mustard, about a quarter teaspoon of ground sage, maybe a half a cup of Baby Ray's barbecue sauce, sweet Baby Ray's. that around really good. And before you add the milk, uh, notice how the consistency of the meatloaf, because it says a cup of milk. But 
sometimes it can be a little too much. I probably used about three quarters of a cup of milk there. And how I like to do the onion is uh, cut in one direction and then flip it and cut in the other direction. And then it just falls off the onion in a nice diced size. Into the bowl. And the celery also. To get kind of a small size on the celery. A little bit less celery than onion, too. And that goes into the bowl as well. The next thing to do is get this to the loaf. And we're going to put it right here on a broiler pan. And I like to line mine with tin foil. It just makes cleanup a little bit easier. So what I like to do is just pack the meat down in the bowl a little, and then get it out of there in one blob, and make it into a rough square. Place it on the pan. And then just kind of use your hand, like so, and you just kind of squash it down a little. And we're going to preheat our oven to 375 degrees and put this sucker in to cook. been in the oven for about a half an hour. So what I'm going to do is give it a nice coating of barbecue sauce. You could also use ketchup. I like to do this after it's cooked for a little bit because if you do it too soon the barbecue sauce tends to get watered down and just runs off the meatloaf. And this way here it stays thick on the surface. And we'll put this back in the oven And we've been in the oven for almost an hour now. And there she is. We're just going to take the temperature to make sure the meat's cooked thoroughly. And it's passing 160, 170, more than enough broccoli to go with it. and a couple of baked potatoes. So there it is. Meatloaf a la Chris.